What does a one-to-one -one correspondence means? Let's watch the video. This is one of the five counting principles. As young children learn to count, they must remember to match each object with only one number name. This process is known as one-to-one -one correspondence. But some of my younger students count objects more than once. What can I do to help them overcome this? Use objects the students can touch, place them in a container, and ask the students to draw them out, counting them one at a time. Experiences such as this reduce the chances of the student recounting any of the objects, which helps them to associate one number name with exactly one object. Now it's time for Ms. Ferro to give you the example how to do the activity. Mom and Dad, please accompany your child to do the activity together. Are you ready? What do you need to do? You need to prepare blocks or toys, whatever you have at home. We need 10. Let's count together. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Great job, kids! It's easy, right? Now let's review one more time. This time, you need to point to the object and say the number. Are you ready to count with Miss Ferro? Let's start! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You did it! Now it's your turn to do the activity together with mommy and daddy. Don't forget, you can use your toys, you can use your blocks, or whatever you have at home. And then, mom and dad, don't forget to send the video or photos that showing your child can do the activity at home. Okay? See you! Bye-bye!